I'm Jason Roselle. You're watching Get Inspired with Jason. How do we stop overthinking? Oh my God, the common thing that we tend to always do, right? Overthinking leads to nothing, nowhere too soon, too fast. And it causes a problem that wasn't even there in the first place. Or like this great sign I have in my bathroom that says, Jason, overthinking is like waiting for debt that may never come. I have to remind myself that thinking, overthinking about things is not going to bring you anything, right? So if you're asking, how do we stop this? How do we stop this commotion happening right now that's driving me up a wall? It's not that difficult. And you're saying, okay, Jason, I've heard you say this one too many times. All you have to do is quiet your mind. How do we quiet our mind? And I know you're maybe watching this saying, oh no, don't give me the whole, um, yes, I'm gonna give you a little hum of that too. Take time for you, right? Not distractions, being on your phone, looking things on television, reading this and that. Why don't you start quieting your mind by writing down how you're feeling? Start writing down what you're grateful for. I say this in so many of my videos, journaling was one huge factor that has helped me through so much stress when I was depressed, when I was anxiety driven, and now thousands of my clients each year that I life, wellness, and relationship coach. And this really helps you unwind. It makes you become in tune with who you are and just relax your mind. What do I do next? I always suggest working out. Whatever you like to do, whether it's play tennis, go to the gym, hit some weights, do a little bit of cardio, go running outside, take a walk, do a little Stairmaster, whatever is gonna get you in chill mode. But most importantly, after you're done journaling, then working out, or doing things that you love. I mean, I have people, including myself, I know you're saying, oh my God, this guy's crazy. I like, for example, doing dishes or gardening, right? And I'm a young guy to be doing gardening, but I enjoy things like that, right? Or playing with my puppies. Those are things that relax you for that moment. But if you want to take it to the next and best level, I highly recommend doing some guided meditation, right? And guided meditation that puts you in a state mentally and physically of just relaxing and knowing where you are and just being like, hey, you know what? This is not so bad. I'm grateful for so many things. So when you start connecting the dots, right? Number one, journaling. Number two, working out. And three, meditating. All these things really bring you in a state of peacefulness and being in the moment. When you are in this moment, this is all that matters, right? Your future, what you do tomorrow, a year from now, is not going to matter. What matters is now. And you are making your own future by not overthinking and just doing it right now. Also, if you're wondering, well, I always tend to think about the past. If you're thinking in the past, you're thinking and living in depression. If you're overthinking about the future, you're living in anxiety. I want you to focus on now. So do me a favor, try these three things out. I want you to really start journaling, writing things that are important to you, things that you love, your goals, right? Things that you're grateful for. I also want you to write down just what you want in your life, what you're willing to do to obtain that. And most importantly, work out and do guided meditation. And I have some good news. I'm gonna be releasing some guided meditations that you're gonna love, so give me a thumbs up and write me comments so I know how this is helping you, right? Even if you're not one of my one-on-one -on -one clients, and which by the way, if you ever wanna be coached with me or by me, the link is on the description. I'm here to help you know that if I've fixed my life and I'm continuously growing and helping the lives of so many others, you can do it too. You can be the best version of you and have everything that you want. So stop overthinking. Relax. Have a little fun, will ya? Ay, Dios mío, dale con huevo. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.